when you do uh, long uh, hour surgery or uh, complex surgery there is a, a surgeon's fatigue it actually um, uh, you, you lose your uh, working hours if you if i say that their health is also get compromised so those things are not there and for patient it is a, a very good situation where the big surgery can be done with a equally good outcome as you do in open surgery with a small incision with a less blood loss with less pain and early recovery robotic actually gave all the freedom of doing open surgery through the keyhole so that's what the advantage of robot is and that is why the surgeons could do all uh, complex surgeries robotic surgery is the endo rest like my hand it is sitting inside the patient abdomen with a small hand because of the fineness of the instrument when you, you move your hand like this the the hand of the robot which is there inside the abdomen with a very small hand which will room move like this so that is why those movements they get replicated completely into the abdomen and that is why these are called as computer assisted remote surgery the robotic hand is very robust and then the freedom of movement is very high actually a robot here is a slave machine it's not like it can do on its own so it's like flying the plane so when the on the navigation you can put an auto mode but then most of the steps pilot has to do same is here sometime you land up in doing day care surgery with the robot day care means morning the patient gets admitted by evening he is gone maybe especially the western country they are doing because they have very good nursing care after that in india we generally do not do that because patients do, do, may not be having that medical support outside hospital uh, so uh, the surgery where the patient used to get admitted for 2 weeks now the patient goes in 2 3 2 to 3 days more not more than 4 days it gives almost all the freedom as you do with the da vinci but uh, i think in future this machine is going to be uh, into not only it will change the scene of robotic surgery uh, in in india but i think it is abroad also also this uh, technology will go to the b and c class city also uh, even 200 bedded 150 bedded hospital can afford and then also the uh, general public can afford the way things are changing uh, is definitely is going to happen that surgeon can sit in his at home also operate or he can sit in his office and then can operate or if suppose his expertise require in a b b class city and c class city and uh, we are very hopeful in mantra and all so then uh, you can be here and operate there you will the you know even general pa- patient who cannot come to the big city they will be having equally good uh, uh, care Yeah, there are two things in the training uh, one is simulation so uh, dedicated center has to you know to be made and uh, there is a simulation technology going on this as in the other field so with the simulation uh, you can replicate your movement to a particular surgery and then when you sit on robot maybe after under the guidance like our center we keep on training lot of people so dedicated center will be there and then the young guys can get trained and go to their respective hospital having said that uh, the animal training also is important if it is possible uh, but i think there we have to have more center for simulation and then they go and go to one center where they can watch and maybe have some hands on experience and then uh, they go to the their hospital there is a learning curve uh, difference in the learning curve for an experienced surgeon or a naive surgeon uh, i have two boys they are there with me for two years they have started doing as you know in pilot training also there is a first pilot then captain captain teach the first pilot so this is how it goes we they go on simulation they go have the animal training also and then they come to our or we give them a few steps maybe some lymph node dissection maybe some other part and then finally we give them force whole surgery if you ask me the number of robot watch we have is maybe equal to england maybe more 
right now in in India. Affordability has increased. Uh, private sector has come. Private sector is in has come in a big way. Uh, like uh, liver transplant is one of the robust program in the country, especially in Delhi. So uh, in that scenario, robotic surgery is going to you know come uh, be everywhere. Uh, if you don't actually have the robot in your center, then you lag behind. That was is already in America is there. And uh, right now in India also almost big hospital in class one city they have robot. If they are not having they are actually working on it. So uh, now there are hospital which is 200, 150 bedded where uh, the, this Da Vinci is so costly it cannot be a financially viable situation. So this is where, and also the medical colleges, the huge number of medical colleges, so where you have a cheaper robot and which is running cost is less, this will make a huge uh, impact in those places. Still a huge market there, uh, but then it is growing field and is going to happen. There are very few people who will not opt for robotic surgery. I get patient even they ask me, they are not fit for robotic surgery, they ask me, can you do robotic surgery? I mean, it may be because I have done so many, the people they send, but there are very few people who, very few people who will say, no, we want to open surgery. It's cancer or so, it is better to open surgery. There are very few. Most of the 99% people, they actually opt for robotic surgery.